Hey guys, it's your girl Shalana back today with another video. In today's video, we're going to discuss the maximum allotment for the month of October, as well as the payout dates. We are also going to discuss the child tax credits, as well as the $375 summer pandemic EBT, regular pandemic EBT, hot food waivers, and more, my darling. So if you want to know what is going on in the lovely world of EBT, you already know what to do. Stay tuned. Your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey, friends. My name is Chalet, and here on this channel, we discuss shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy. Click the big old red subscribe button down below when you're in, just like that so while you're at it go ahead and give me a like because you love me bringing you this content like it's hot i mean yeah i've been going strong all this week so definitely check out some of my other videos if you haven't but if you yes you my darling if you want to build your brand on youtube go ahead and grab a copy of my ebook for 14.97 where i teach you the tips the tricks and the trade to get this moolah honey as well as if you're an ebt recipient try out amazon prime free on your girl click the links let's go ahead and get it let's talk about the states that have been approved for the emergency allotment for october alabama october 30th arizona your state's regular issuance california november 10th and 13th colorado october 5th through the 10th connecticut october 14th and every friday delaware october 27th dc your state's regular issuance georgia October 25th through the 28th, Guam, October 22nd, Hawaii, November 15th, Illinois, October 20th through the 28th, Indiana, October 5th through the 23rd, Iowa, October 1st through the 10th, Kansas, November 15th through the 24th, Kentucky, October 2nd through the 19th, Louisiana, October 9th, 16th, 23rd, and 30th, Maine, October 7th, Maryland, October 1st through the 31st, Massachusetts, November 2nd, Michigan, October 23rd through November 1st, Minnesota, November 9th through the 30th, Mississippi, October 2nd, New Hampshire, October 5th and 19th, New Jersey, October 1st through the 5th, New Mexico, October 1st through the 31st, New York, October 18th through the 29th, North Carolina, October 22nd through the 31st, Ohio, October 28th, Oklahoma, October 10th through the 15th, Oregon, October 11th and the 28th, Pennsylvania, October 15th through the 28th, Rhode Island, October 3rd, South Carolina, October 1st through the 19th, Tennessee, October 1st through the 20th, Texas, October 4th through the 8th, Utah, October 31st, Vermont, November 12th, Virginia, October 16th, Virgin Islands, October 23rd, Washington, your state regular issuance, West Virginia, October 6th, Wisconsin, October 16th, Wyoming, October 2nd through the 5th. And these are the states for the $375 summer pandemic EBT. Let me know if your state is still not on the list as well, but I think everyone has pretty much got on board, especially Florida. So these are the states. Alabama, Alaska, American Samoa, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, D.C., Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, Ohio, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Puerto Rico, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Virgin Islands, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. Next, we're going to discuss the regular pandemic EBT for the 2020-2021 school year. And I know some people were asking me like, girl, why are you still including this? But a lot of people have yet to be paid for last school year's pandemic EBT. Drop down below and let me know if your state has paid out. Um, if you're still waiting, I'll still keep putting this in my videos. But if you don't need it, girl, I won't bring it in here. So let me know. Do y'all still want to hear? No state has been approved just yet for 2021-2022 school year, but it's coming, my darling. So here are the states for last school year. 
Alaska, American Samoa, Arizona, Arkansas, California, CNMI, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, DC, Florida, Georgia, Guam, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Northern Mariana Islands, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Puerto Rico, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Virgin Islands, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. So let's go ahead and kick things off in Louisiana, baby, where they are set to increase the WIC cash value benefits through December. So families and pregnant individuals participating in Louisiana's WIC program will continue to receive extra help with the purchasing of fruits and vegetables through a continuing resolution of the extended government funding and delivery emergency assistance act yeah this is a thing it's a lot of stuff going on right now with congress and in our government but through december 2021 women and children will continue to receive an increase to their cash value benefit which is the amount of money provided each month for the purchase of fresh frozen fruits, canned fruits, and vegetables as well. So under this continuing resolution, they will get $24 for children, $43 for pregnant and postpartum people as well, and then $47 for breastfeeding women as well. So this comes after a 388% increase from July, 2021 through September, 2021. So remember I told you where they were doing like four months where children, they went from $9 to like $35 a month. Well, they're going to continue this in Louisiana. Currently about 89,000 individuals receive WIC benefits each month in Louisiana. And this is available to income eligible pregnant breastfeeding and per postpartum and infants and children up to the five years of age so if you are enrolled in the WIC program make sure you know that you're still going to get these benefits reach out to your caseworker if you're not enrolled in the program you can definitely fill out an application online or you can get a list of clinics by calling 1-800-251-BABY b-a-b-y now, I know a lot of you are still awaiting your pandemic EBT cards, but the struggle is real here in Alabama because schools are asking parents to prepare breakfast and even possibly brace for remote learning. So schools in Alexander City, Alabama have asked parents to begin feeding their children breakfast at home or send them to school with snacks due to the food supply shortages. So on October 9th, there was a post on Alexander City's Facebook page that explained the city schools have not received any food deliveries in the past few weeks due to suppliers and they are short on supplies, drivers, and even warehouse employees. So Alexander City schools serve breakfast, lunch daily, and the district has warned that breakfast could be impacted more so than lunch in the coming week. So I know a lot of you are waiting for those pandemic EBT cards. I mean, one of my subscribers has shown me where it was going down um, on some of the social media platforms of people were saying, hey, they're going to be 84 years old before they receive their cards. And the reason why I haven't been updating with the dates is because a lot of the dates keep constantly changing for different states. And like in Mississippi, some Mississippi students who were not eligible to get free or reduced lunch through the National School Lunch Program last year were mailed a pandemic EBT card in error. So the Mississippi Department of Human Services said that the State Department of Education has alerted them that those pandemic EBT cards that were sent to students in several school districts, including the Petal School District, they were not eligible and they will not be getting the summer $375 benefit as well. And they said all those funds on those cards have been frozen and cannot be accessed and will be automatically removed from those cards. So there's a big mess that's going on with these pandemic EBT cards as well. Now they said cards that were eligible for students in some districts were frozen as well. The issue is being reviewed. So in Mississippi with the pandemic EBT cards, you guys are just all jacked up. Thank goodness though, you guys received your child tax credit yesterday. Not to say 
you know, that, you know, there's not an issue there, but at least you have some funds on there. Next, we are headed to California where Plumas families impacted by the wildfire could be eligible for food benefits. So the California Department of Social Services announced today that individuals and families impacted by the wildfires in six counties may be eligible to receive the disaster SNAP benefits as part of the continuing disaster recovery efforts. That is a mouthful. Okay, so the United States Department of Agriculture recently approved California's request for the DSNAP benefits. And they said, hey, this will go to the counties that have been impacted by the recent wildfires. Now, we all know that if you are already receiving SNAP benefits, you do not qualify for disaster SNAP. But a family of four with a monthly income of about $3,000 may be eligible to receive up to $782 in food benefits through this program. So, I mean, if you know a friend who knows a friend that's been impacted go ahead and tell them to qualify i mean even in louisiana for the disaster snap benefits people that were making six figures were eligible for disaster snap benefits you don't know unless you try so that's all that we have going on in the news for ebt this week what did you guys think about me posting a video every single day OMG, like, you know, I didn't put out some little crazy content, but definitely let me know what you would like to see. And also let me know, have you received like your pandemic EBT cards as well? And this is all I have guys. Like this is all that's going on in the news. Let me know down below what is going on with your EBT benefits. Go ahead and pick up a copy of my ebook. Definitely get this Amazon Prime in your life. And yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.